I'm Josie Noland and I am a goer. Yeah, my story in regards to being called. I grew up in a Christian home and always had known, I mean, this is what church can look like, but didn't have a ton of exposure to missions growing up. I grew up in the Methodist church and that wasn't something that was focused on missionaries per se as much, we focused on missions work, but not the individuals doing it. Um, so kind of Urbana was really pivotal in terms of seeing what missionaries can look like on the ground and just the wide variety of that. But I would say my freshman or sophomore year in high school, I was in a pretty bad car accident and that was when my faith really became my own. I focused a lot more on that relationship with Jesus. I was in a really, really dark spot um, and that was like my single source of hope. I definitely would not be where I am today if it weren't for that experience and just how God pursued me through it. Um, but through that I was like, okay, so I think that some, the Lord's trying to say something through this. Like people in our world today are struggling with so many mental health issues and things like, I think I could be able to use this experience to connect with people and just share the hope that I was able to experience in Jesus. And kind of put that on the back burner through that accident. I also was helped by a chiropractor and I was like, okay, I'm gonna pursue chiropractic. But then through college, the Lord just kept pursuing me and showing me ways that Christian community and just the support of a church uh, around you can be so incredible and life-giving. So um, through that, then I was considering divinity school and really got into that process. and was like, okay, I could be a chaplain and a college campus. I could see myself doing this. And then, and then missions came up at Urbana and it just felt like the Lord was leading me there. So a long process and not something I could see myself doing five years ago, but really cool to see how the Lord's really guided me every step along the way. And looking back, it's been very clear of how he's guided me to this point.